What's good, sports gamers? And we back. I might lose my job after one month because the owner is selling the team and he wants me to make questionable trades to boost revenue. So let's continue. Right, let's see about this Vince Carter stuff. I wanted to end it at November 1st, but... So... Let's do the trade fire and see what they got. Oh, he's on a one-year deal. Mir Johnson, I'll trade him here. Yeah, see you, buddy. All right, now he gonna talk to me. Hey, Chris, we should adjust the roster after your latest food. Would you, would you rather do it yourself or have the coach take care of it? I'll let the coach handle it. Please have the head coach handle this situation, please. I'll ask him to take care of it. Oh, so he trusts, so Brett Brown has more trust in me because I let him do it himself. But I want to know what he says about the Vince Carter trade. He ain't going to talk to me? Uh, increased player morale. I'm hearing that multiple ownership cons have whatever. That place purchased bids for the Sixers. Okay, here we go. Look like we got a big fat elephant in the room, Chris. Huge elephant. Massive tusk. The whole thing. So let's put a saddle on this puppy and ride it. Ride that elephant, Chris. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I see the rumors. How could I not? I practically have to fight through them to get to my car in the morning. And if I see them, I know you see them. You're the owner. Why are you acting like you can't squash this? Yeah, are you selling the team? Well, all right, I want it. If you want to talk about it, I'd like to know. Are you trying to sell the team? That's what I'm talking about, Chris. Ride that elephant. Let me hop on the saddle with you for a minute. I'm a businessman, and as such, I have a diverse array of interests. Diversification is key, but you know, there's risk too. You can't diversify away risk. Sure can't. That baby blue suit, though. And you know, some of my interests have not performed up to their projections. Drone art. Uh, throwing shots. Porkify the whole thing. It's been one heady guy after another. Money flushed down the drain. Gallons of it. A whole ocean of money, Chris. <laughs> I'm in a tough spot to be on. So you sell the team? This team is my life, Chris. It's a business, yes, but it's my heart, too. I would never willingly sell this team. Not Dang, he must be broke. But sometimes life hands you a problem and you got to wrestle that problem to the ground with it, with whatever you got. Hands, fists, sticks, rocks, mud. Only thing I got left to fight this thing is my team. Is the team. It kills me. It kills me to say. <laughs> it kills me to say this, but it's true. I see. So I'm out of a job. I guess I wanted you to pick up this card to help boost the value of the franchise, but what's so wrong with that? He's a great player, isn't he? Yeah, in like 2003. What? Who picked Vince Carter to be the guy that boosts value? I mean, really. We're in Philly. He's not even, it's not like he's even from here. Played in Toronto. Yeah, that was, man. Of course, I never said, great player. What's he going to do but help us, Chris? I don't disagree with you, but ultimately, you know, that's your right. It's your team. You can do whatever you want with it. I appreciate that, Chris, but I would never ask you to do something knowing it would hurt the team. You know what? You know that, don't you? Sure, Christopher, I know that. I want you to know that I'm gonna that I'm going about this as carefully as I can and as honestly as I can. I've got a consort I've never seen that word in my a consortium lined up, ready to purchase, and the lead investor is a huge fan of the team. Huge fan. I can't tell you more than that right now, but these guys are passionate supporters. This isn't some random investment for them, and they're not looking to flip the team for cash. They're gonna treat everyone here like family. That's good to hear. You're probably wondering where this leaves you. Yes, am I getting fired? Well, sure, but I... You know, I think the world of you, I do. Well, where are you going with this, buddy? You've got vision, Chris, and you're executing it. We're like 83. Is he going to fire me? I told the consor consortium that I hold you in the highest esteem. 
Now, I can't guarantee that they'll keep you. That's just the way these things go. And I gave you my highest recommendation. At least he looked out. He may be a little slimy dude, but at least he put in a good word for a brother. I could be wrong, but I've been wrong before. And if I am wrong and these guys are out of their minds and they decide for some completely insane reason to move in another direction, nobody's going to push harder for you around the league than I am. Okay, uh, he, he's looking out for a brother. I've got great relationships around this league. Like I said, I'm a businessman. Business is about money, sure. But it's about people, too. Who's going to give you money if it's not people? You understand what I'm saying, Chris? See, Sam Hickey, this is where you messed up at. You got to... You gotta, gotta be friendly with me, you know what I mean? You have any questions? I'm sure I will, but uh, this is a lot to take in for now. I think I just like to kind of, you know, decompress a bit. Process everything. Then we can talk. Quiet measured approach. That's why you're the best. You let me know when you're ready to talk, and we'll hash out whatever needs to be hashed out. Dang. So I'm about to be, I actually might get fired. So I wonder if they'll let me, I don't know, it'll probably be auto pick for me. I wonder if they'll fire me though. Like, I want to be the sixes, man, don't fire me. <laughs> well, all right, that's a... Uh... All right, since so I'm eight and five, I want to check out around the league a little bit, get a better feel for what's going on. Let's see the standings. All right, conference. You got the Knicks at eight, nine, and four. Yeah, you know this is a video game. Cleveland nine and five, Boston nine. They, are, they have like four losses off yeah, the whole season. Okay, so our record relative to everybody else is not that bad. We got Detroit eight and five, Brooklyn seven and seven, Atlanta seven. And seven. I ain't think they was gonna be that terrible this year. They're like three and eighteen or something. Charlotte, Washington, Milwaukee, Miami. Wow, Toronto's four and eight. Chicago's two and nine. That's Indiana's three and eleven. Wow. Averaging ninety nine point six points a game. Can I click on it? Uh. Can't see an individual stats from here. Yeah, that's it. Oladipo really took a next step in real life, but he's still like his usual self on the game. That's why they didn't make that step. 3 and 11, though? Ugh. All right, the West. You got the Kings at 1 and 12. Okay, it's pretty realistic at the bottom. Minnesota. LA, 8 and 6. Clippers, 8 and 5. Golden State, 12 and 2. Okay. See, so it would have been something if they were like 10 and 4, 9 and 5 or something. But I guess since they go, the simulation goes mainly by who has the highest overall, there was no way they was gonna have that kind of work. All right, uh, let's see the team stats. And B's only average is 16 a game. Wow, these, these stats are way too low. Simmons at 13, Fultz at 9.9, Holmes at 8.9. Yeah. Let me check the per 36. Well, the per 36 is just still kind of wrong. Simmons barely went up. And B's kind of okay now. But if this is real life. That would have been like 25, 30. Reddick shouldn't be my second leading scorer. Covington's about, about right. Sarge is about right. The guy was made to trade for his average of one point a game. But I think I'm gonna make that plunge and finally trade Big o Big, Big Okafer. See what I can get for him. This is a trade. Like I said, I don't want to make too many trades, but I do want to get like dudes that are gonna leave off my team. DJ Will. Wow, is this the kind of offers I'm gonna get? Kyle Corver, why would I accept that? He's got two years left. Okay, I can get a first, but it's lottery protected and Aaron Baines from the Celtics. You know, I will probably, uh, okay, that's the top pick so far. 
Uh, no, Big Frank and Michael Carter, nope. Cephalosha, Willie Cully, so that's not, uh, see, they get, see, they made, they want me to trade my first. Uh, no, I can't do that. Alfred Payton, we had, we drafted him. Do I want to do that? Now nah, we, now nah, we got folds, so I'm doing, I'm tripping. Lennon AC, author, Lynn Robinson the third, nope. Ooh, New Orleans, I get they first. Nah, that's kind of, see, that's the kind of trades I want to avoid. Nobody would do that realistically. Uh, but then it's like, what's a realistic trade if everybody's offering me a first round pick? I can get lottery protected first from the Pistons. I can get the Pistons trade. Ooh. See the Wizards. See if they give me a first and I'm taking on salary, that's more realistic. Not they give me money. They give me an expiring contract. They give me an expiring contract and a first. That's not. Uh, this is a big trade in the franchise. I don't know. Okay, Jason Smith and the Washington Wizards 2021 first. Jason Smith for Washington. The Nuggets off me a 2020 first. See, oh, if I accept it and that John's in the top 10, that's not, that's not cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take. I'm be, see, but then... The big contract is attached to a second round pick. Uh, I really don't see any. Or yeah, I'll take the Glenn Robinson one. He's young enough. Got me a back up the curve. Hi, Chris. We should adjust the roster after your latest move. Would you rather do it yourself or have the coach take care of it? I want to do it. All right, let's... Uh... All right, so folks at 32, Reddick 29, 36, 38, 28. Yeah, I think... Oh, Bayless, though. He's the backup point guard. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go. Oh, back out. I've taken care of it. Thank you for the update. Thanks for re thanks for reviewing and integrating the new players. You're welcome. Player morale plus one. All right, so. Check out another one. Hope the GM has some additional deals in the works because the Pacers are now thin and small forward after trading away Glenn Robinson the third. <laughs> this is cool. I remember the first year I started to see this one. This is a cool addition where they actually talk about the trades you make. So Jai's finally free to back up that young on the Pacers, but he's gone. So y'all can put the free Jai shirts away. But the main thing is we're still over 500. So let's hope we can keep it up. Sorry people, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next part in this series and let me know would you like to see me go through one month at a time in the span of a video or like how I've been doing it, let me know in the comments. And other than that, stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K18 content. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris, thank you all for watching and be good y'all.